Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So I just wanna go ahead and welcome those of you that are new. Thank you so much for subscribing. And of course, thanks to all of you for all of your continued support. It does mean a lot to me. So I am super excited for today's video because I'm actually gonna be doing the top three in every category. Um, this video has kind of been going around here on YouTube. I wanna say it originally started by Julia Adams MUA. Um, that is her YouTube channel. Um, I am not subscribed to her, so I'm not sure if she was the original creator or not, but um, I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. So if I do find the original creator and if she is the original creator, I definitely want to link her channel below. So check out the description box for that information. But this is going to be a long video, I feel like. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did want to go ahead and start with primer. So I picked um, pretty much my top three. So I picked picks three um, primers for this category. Um, the first primer, which was basically like no questions about it, was my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. This is such an amazing primer. It does such a wonderful job at priming the skin, smoothing the skin, um, pour, like filling in your pores. It does a good job at doing that as well. And honestly, it, it's just so good at prolonging your makeup as well. I also really enjoy the scent of this. It just has a really nice, lovely, like luxurious kind of smell to it. So I really like it. And I'm really glad that they came out with the liquid version of it because I know that the putty form, it didn't really work out for me personally. So this one for sure, I had to mention in my top three. All right, and this primer is in my top three because I honestly feel like it makes a difference. I really, really do. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. This is the one that does have the 12 hour makeup grip to it. This is such a great primer. It honestly does an amazing, amazing job at prolonging your makeup wear. I feel like foundation adheres so well to this. Um, this is really a great gripping primer. If you were looking for a good dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, this is a good one for it. Even the color is very similar to this one. So this one I wanted to mention in my top three because I feel like it does an amazing job at priming the skin. And then this product product is um, almost a year old in my collection. I don't use it as much as I would like to, but I don't know if I use this as a primer. I do love it in my foundations, like mixing in with my foundations. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I do have the shade Light 2. And I feel bad because I don't talk about this product a lot on my channel, but I will say when I mix this in with my foundations, it makes such a difference. Like it's so, so stunning. I need to use this more because I got this for Christmas. I know that this isn't cheap, um, but it really is absolutely stunning. And I do think there's something special to it. So now let's go ahead and get into foundation. So I have to mention this one. I know that it's a little bit harder to find nowadays and the shade range is a little bit um, limiting, but this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I do have the shade LN3 and this is a really good shade match for me. I can pick mine up at Walmart and I do know that Physician's Formula still carries this on their website. This is just one of my holy grail foundations i know that holy grail kind of gets thrown around here and there and it's overused but this is honestly it's one of my favorites it is so so stunning on the skin it's a very nice like satin finish your skin looks healthy when you wear this so i think the healthy foundation is a great name for that or for this um, it's good with so many different primers. I've mixed it with the Charlotte Tilbury and it's absolutely stunning that way. And I feel like I just always want to have this in my collection because it is so beautiful on the skin. So I definitely had to mention that one. And surprisingly enough, all of my drugs, uh, all of my foundations are drugstore and more affordable, which is nice. And then this one has quickly stolen my heart. This is a recent discovery for me. I just tried this out for the first time in May or June of this year. This is the L'Oreal H Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. It does have SPF of 50, which is very nice. And this is again, such a beautiful foundation. This one is definitely more of a radiant foundation. Um, the Physician's Formula is 
kind of more of like a satin finish, but this one is pretty dewy. So if you do have oily skin, you might still like this, um, but just keep that in mind. But it is really, really beautiful. I think it gives your skin such a healthy radiance, which makes it look like you're glowing from within, which is really nice. And um, I think L'Oreal does an amazing job with their foundations. I really love the Infallible Freshwear Foundation. I just don't have that in my collection at the moment. And I really did want to stick with, um, you know, products that I currently have. So I do love that one. And then the other one is from ColourPop and it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And I do have the shade Light 55 in and in the L'Oreal one, I do have the shade 15 Rose Ivory. And I used this recently the other day and I basically just remembered how much I love this foundation. This is so, so beautiful on the skin. Pretty Fresh is such a perfect name for this line, but also for this foundation because it goes on your skin so nicely, so healthily, and it does make your skin look so beautiful and fresh. So I also really, you know, I just enjoy this one a lot and I think it's perfect for every day, for summer, for normal to dry, and maybe even oily will like it too. So I do love that one. For concealer, you guys know I had to mention my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the shade Light Peach. This is just one of my favorites. I just love this concealer so much. I think it's I think it's just so hydrating and so nice on the skin. It also applies with like a little bit of like a cooling effect, which is really nice. So I'm not gonna talk too much about that one, but I do really like that one. And then the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have the shade Light Beige. This is a little bit too deep for me, but this is a beautiful concealer as well. Um, this is in my Partners in Cream project, and so I've really gotten to know it over the past few months, and it really has just confirmed my love for this concealer. I love it as foundation, I love it as concealer, and I just think it wears really, really well throughout the day. So really, really love that one. And then my final concealer is from Maybelline, and this is just the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have the shade 110 Fair. This is an older product. A lot of people know about this one, but this is, again, just a beautiful concealer. I think it does a great job at concealing your under eyes and really lasting pretty well throughout the day. And I think that's what sets this one apart um, because it does last so well throughout the day. Now for powders. So for powder, I'm pretty like whatever. I have my favorites, but I feel like a lot of loose setting powders tend to work pretty well for me. But I did have to mention my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is a product that I love to use to set underneath my eyes. I have Hit Pan on this. This is a great, great product. And this is just one of my favorites. Again, holy girl status. I feel like I'm gonna have this in my collection all of the time. I just love it so much. And then this next powder is another pressed powder. This is more so for like my T-zone area or like here around my pores because this is a powder that really like I use when I want my makeup to just not budge. I want it to be bulletproof. Maybe I'm gonna be outside a lot and I want my makeup to last. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. This is absolutely amazing. It's such an amazing, amazing powder. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> this really does, you know, make my makeup not budge. It makes my makeup bulletproof. I just think it really makes my, my foundation and makeup last all day. My problem area tends to be my nose and my chin. And once I put this on before I leave the house, I mean, it's perfect throughout the rest of the day. I mean, I really can trust this powder a lot. Um, then for loose powder, I just went ahead and chose my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. This is just a really like nice kind of like a uh, workhorse product for me. I think it does a really great job at setting the skin without drying out my skin too much. And um, it, it does set makeup pretty well as well. So that one was just kind of like take it or leave it. But if I had to choose, I definitely would want to keep that one around. So now we are getting into bronzers. So I have two about two powder bronzers and one cream bronzer. The first one is my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. 
This is a huge bronzer. It's absolutely humongous, but this is an amazing bronzer. This is such a beautiful, beautiful undertone. I love the packaging of this. I love the way it smells. It smells so, so good. And honestly, this is such a beautiful finish on the skin. I absolutely love how it builds up on the skin. I love the shade of this one. Tantastic is a really great shade. Um, so I am super happy. I, I know that this is probably being discontinued or maybe reformulated with Marc Jacobs like rebranding and everything, but I, I still wanted to mention it because I do honestly love it so much. And then the other powder bronzer is my Bare Minerals Loose Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. This is just so stunning. This was a recent discovery for me. I know it's been out for some time, but I did pick it up this year and it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. This is what I took with me on vacation. I wanted to continue reaching for this one and I wanted to keep reaching for it and reaching for it. And it just is perfect for summer too. I think it gives your skin such a beautiful kind of like bronzy tan look and it provides a little bit of radiance because it is kind of like a um like a multi-dimensional kind of bronzer like it gives you some glow and some radiance but it's also you know a bronzer which is nice and then for my cream bronzer while i have a lot of cream bronzers that i love i still love my milk makeup cream bronzer i do have the shade baked I've had this for some time. Um, it's still going strong though. I have tons and tons of products in here still, but I still love this. I still think it's great. I still think it's amazing. It's in my current Shop My Stash rotation and I'm just loving it. So this is still a staple of mine for sure. Then for blush, this was so hard for me, you guys. I love blush so much. I've been saying this since I started my channel, blush and eyeshadow, blush and eyeshadow. Those are my two favorite things I love about makeup. Um, I also really love lip products, but those two things, blush and eyeshadow, I just love so much. And this is my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in the shade Let's Go Nude. Um, this one is, I, I don't know if it's still available. I know that Bare Minerals still has the Gen Nude blushes. I just don't know if this exact shade is still available. But this is, it's one of my favorites. It has nothing too special about it besides the formula being amazing, but also the shade is just so nice because the shade goes so well with so many different eyeshadow looks, with so many different lip colors. And it's something that is like a no fuss type of blush. Like if I don't know what to reach for, I know for sure that this will match so many different looks. So I love that one. And then this formula isn't new to me. However, this shade that I'm about to show you is fairly new to my collection and I've been really loving it. This is the Essence The Blush blushes and I have the shade Be Fitting. So I have two of them already and then I got this one. So this is my third one from this The Blush line and the shade Be Fitting is so beautiful. Um, it's definitely right up my alley. It's a little bit more mauve toned, but it's just, it's nice. It's so nice. I can't rave about Essence blushes enough. I feel like they're so, they're just so good and they definitely get enough hype. You know, it's not that they're underrated or anything. A lot of people really, really like them, but the shade be fitting is definitely stunning and I'm so glad that I decided to grab it. And then you know for sure I had to put, put, put in a cream blush. You know it. I love cream blush. I love liquid blushes. I actually do have a ranking my cream and liquid blushes video. So be sure to check that one out. It's just a shameless plug there. But for my cream blush, I had to choose this one. This is the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light in the shade Polished. So this one in particular has a little bit of shimmer to it. So a little bit of like luminosity to it. Again, this is the shade Polished. This is such a stunning formula. I took this with me on vacation. I wanted to keep using it. It's just a beautiful color, a beautiful formula. I don't know how they make this like shimmery finish so like forgiving on the skin. Like it doesn't emphasize too much texture and it doesn't emphasize too much of my pores. I just, I love it. I think it's beautiful. So this is definitely one of the best formulas in my collection. It did rank pretty high on that video, just saying. But yes, I love this one. All right, now for highlighters. So highlighter is something I don't get too excited about very much anymore. I still love highlighter. It's still something that I wear daily. 
and I still love a blinding highlight, but I feel like I'm not as picky with formulas. I, I have a lot of highlights that I really enjoy in my collection, but if I did choose three, this would definitely be one of them. This is my MAC Extra, Diminid, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I actually did pick this up at a TJ Maxx, and I'm really glad that I did. It's such a stunning color. It's such a beautiful, beautiful highlight shade. I know it looks pretty icy in the pan, but it's a beautiful kind of like champagne gold color. It is really beautiful. Whenever I purchased this this year or earlier this year, I was always wanting to reach for this one and it has some pretty decent wear in it already, you know, especially for not having it too long. So really like this one and it is one of my favorites. Another powder highlight that I love so much is from Natasha Denona. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow Duo Chrome Highlighter, and it's in the shade 01 Fair. I always love like champagne gold highlights, and that is exactly what this one is. I think this is such a beautiful, smooth formula. It doesn't emphasize texture, and I love the color a lot. So um, I knew for sure that I wanted to bring in my Natasha Denona. And then one of my favorite highlighters as well is the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizers. They are so stunning on the skin, you guys. They are so beautiful. Rare Beauty has so many great products in my opinion. I do have the shade Enlighten and I actually did recently just purchase the Mesmerize shade. So I might declutter Enlighten and give it to my sister because I do prefer the Mesmerize shade a little bit more. But the shade Enlighten is really beautiful. It's more of like an opaly kind of pearly color, still really stunning on the skin. I love how easy this is to use. I just do a few dots on my cheekbones and I literally just blend it in with my finger and it lasts all day. For a liquid highlighter and for how natural this looks on your skin, it stays all day. I mean, I can still see highlighter at the end of the day, which is so impressive. So now let's go ahead and get into my eyeshadow palettes. So my eyeshadow palettes were very hard. They were very hard, but I had to keep telling myself, Sabrina, this is not in a situation where if I could only keep three, like, no, these are just top three. Um, and I feel kind of weird about my top three. Like I love these palettes. Don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of shocked that I chose these. One of them, I'm not shocked and you're not going to be shocked either, but two of them, I'm kind of shocked. One of them being my Anastasia or ABH Norvina palette. This has been in my collection since it launched. I've had it the, you know, basically from the very beginning. And it's one of my favorite palettes to this day. I mean, I don't go, like, there are some palettes in my collection where I don't use it for like a year. And this palette, I always reach for it. Like every year, at least once or twice a year, I'm reaching for this. I know that that sounds awful, but I have close probably to 100 palettes at this point and I, I still reach for this. Even though there's so many others that I could reach for, I'm still reaching for this one. I just think this is such a beautiful, beautiful color story. I love that there's purples, but there's also neutrals in here, and the shimmer shades are so, so stunning, like so beautiful. I feel like shimmer shades are what gets me going. That's what gets my heart like pitter-patter, and these shimmer shades really give that to me. So. I'm kind of shocked because this is an older palette, but it, it's one of my favorites. I haven't even thought once about decluttering this one because I just, I love it. I still love this one. And I feel like if this one were to turn, I would repurchase it like for sure. I really love the color story and the shimmer shades are so beautiful. And then I'm shocked again because I chose another ABH palette. This is the Sultry palette. So I was considering like my Pastel Dreams palette from Give Me Glow um, and then some other ones that have been, you know, kind of like a recent favorite of mine. But honestly, this is in my top. It has to be in my top. And I know technically all of this could change tomorrow. I could wake up tomorrow and be like, why did I choose those? So don't like take every, like just know that I love these palettes and they're great quality. Like it doesn't like it's, it, this is just for fun. You guys, obviously you guys probably know that, but the Sultry palette has been one of my longtime favorites ever since I brought it into my collection. I brought it into my collection in 2018, I want to say. It was in 2018 or 2019. Whenever it first released is when I bought it. So I know that they re-released it 
I don't know if it was, yeah, last year, um, but I purchased it from the very beginning. The shimmer sheets in this one are absolutely amazing. And this one is like my holiday palette, my special occasion palette. It's perfect. It is so perfect. I love, 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 love this one. If they bring it back again this year, I highly recommend that you pick it up and that you grab it because it's, it's stunning. It is so, so beautiful. All right, so my camera battery did die. So if the lighting looks different or I look different, just know that I had to take a break from filming for a little while, but I did just talk about my palette. So now let's go ahead and move on into some lip products. So I did want to start with lip glosses and I have a lot of favorite lip gloss formulas. I feel like lip gloss has really come a long way. I feel like lip gloss used to be something that was known to be very sticky and just very uncomfortable. And now there are so many beautiful, beautiful lip gloss formulas out there. So um, my favorites for sure are the Dose of Colors lip glosses. Um, my favorite shade is On Repeat. And this is one that um, I have been working on to try to finish it up, but um, it's kind of one that I really wanna try to just like throw in my purse and use it that way. Um, but yes, I absolutely love the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss Formula. It's absolutely beautiful and stunning in my opinion. And then the lip gloss that's currently in my project pan or my Partners in Cream project is the Fenty um, Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. I've used quite a bit of this one. This is, again, one of my favorite gloss, uh, gloss formulas. And the shade Fenty Glow is actually my favorite. I think it's such a unique shade. Um, and this is something that I probably would repurchase once I finish this because I just love the shade so much. Um, and the formula is so smooth on the lips. Like you seriously feel zero stickiness. Like it is amazing how well these lip glosses are formulated. I just, I love them. I love them so much. I think Fenty did an amazing job on those. Um, and then the Tower 28 Milky, what are these called exactly? These are the Shine On Lip Jellies, but I thought for sure there was something milky in the name, but I have the shade Cashew. So this shade is the only one that I have from that like lip gloss milky line. Um, I do have XOXO, like the light red, like sheer red color, and then the clear color um, or clear gloss. And this one is my favorite, but the Tower 28 lip glosses are so nice. They are so, again, kind of similar to the Fenty in the sense of like, they feel so lightweight on the lips, like you hardly feel them at all, but the wash of color that they give your lips are so beautiful. Um, but not only that, they're just non-sticky and they feel amazing. So those are my favorite three lip glosses and my favorite three lip gloss formulas. So now let's go ahead and get into regular like bullet lipsticks. So I have so many lip products and it's really hard for me to pick a top three because I, as I'm sure all of you guys have probably not been wearing lip products as much as you would like. Um, we were kind of maskless for some time and then with the Delta variant and everything, now we're all wearing masks again. So it's kind of frustrating because like I feel like we were liberated for a little bit because um, you know, we weren't wearing our masks anymore and then now we're kind of back to it. And so our lip products got a little bit of a break, but now they're being back stored in our drawers again. So anyways, these three lip products have been my favorite. Like I have nonstop been wanting to reach for one of them, but then the other two I, I've been really liking, especially um, because they're so comfortable. So the first one, let me just talk about them. The first one is actually a new formula that's been around forever for ages and I've never tried it. And these are the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. And I have the shade Bare Affair. And this is in the shade, or this is a cream um, formula. 
This shade, Bare Affair, is absolutely perfect. It's beautiful. It's like one of my favorite nudes. I feel like I might actually finish this one day because I reach for this a lot. Like I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for this a lot. It's so, so beautiful. It's so comfortable. The shade is like a great nude shade for me. Again, the shade Bare Affair and the cream finish is just so lightweight and so comfortable and I don't feel like I'm wearing lipstick. So this is a great formula, the Super Lustrous line. I also have like a red that I like from that line as well. Um, so really, really impressed. And then this is a newer lipstick to my collection. This is the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick and I have the shade Hustla. And this one, again, I haven't used it as much, but it's really just the formula of this lipstick that I love so much and that I've been reaching for. Um, this is just one of the favorites right now in my collection. Again, you could ask me tomorrow, I could have three new favorites in every category, but I wanted to pick something and these Huda lipsticks are so beautiful. And I will say the color actually lasts for you know quite a bit of time. The, the glow that it kind of gives your lips does obviously kind of fade away, but the color does stay around a little bit. So I've been kind of impressed with that as well. And then this other drugstore lipstick, I've really been loving, and this shade is everything. Like, you need to pick up this shade. It's going to be beautiful for fall as well. And this is from Maybelline. This is one of the um, Color Sensational Matte Lipsticks, and I have the shade More Buff. And I love that they went with, like, the ombre packaging. It kind of looks like they were going for, like, a Huda vibe. But the shade More Buff is so beautiful. It's, like, a beautiful, nudie kind of rusty pink color it's so beautiful and i highly recommend that you grab this because like i said it's going to be beautiful for fall and this is actually a lipstick i would wear underneath a mask like and because in my office like i can kind of take off my mask when i'm around coworkers, you know i can take off my mask but whenever we're like in larger communal areas i wear my mask of course but i would still wear this even under a mask because i know it's going to stay on my lips do you know what i mean so love those three lipsticks so much and I've really been liking them. All right, so now the last thing is just liquid lipsticks. I still love a good old liquid lipstick. Like I still love them. I know that a lot of people have kind of moved on from them, but I still like them. And one of my favorite formulas are the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and I absolutely love the shade Truffle. So, so beautiful and so comfortable and long wearing on the lips. The shade Truffle is so, so stunning love that one and then my two other like favorites but honestly this formula of liquid lipsticks they're amazing are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. So, so stunning. Um, they last very well on the lips. They they don't dry me out. I know that sometimes um, liquid lipsticks are kind of known to dry out your lips. I don't have the issue with these. My absolute favorite color is Pumpkin Spice. This one I grabbed like a couple of years ago whenever it was in the set. And then the set from last year for holiday, my favorite shade was Hot Toddy. And this is just a unique shade. It's kind of like a pink, but it's kind of more of like an apple color. I don't know, but it is really, really unique. I wore this to the pumpkin patch last year and I was super impressed with how it wore. Again, I was wearing my mask, but I would take it off to take pictures. Plus we were outside, so I felt a little bit more comfortable. But honestly, those Too Faced liquid lipsticks are so beautiful and I feel like they don't get enough love here on YouTube. But those are all of my top three favorite products in every category. I'm sorry if this video is very long, um, but I had a lot of fun filming this video. I had a lot of fun gathering all of my products together to share with you. Um, please comment below what your top three favorite products from each category are. I would love to know those things. And if you agree with any of my top uh, three favorite products, I would also love to know. But please like this video if you did enjoy, and I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. But thanks again so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you at my next video. Bye!